You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodrance for our Black and White Sports. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe, punch the like button, and as always, thank you guys for watching. Let's talk about pro football talk and Mike Florio. I have said. I want to be fair. I want to be honest. I do watch pro football talk. Uh, when Mike Florio and Chris Sims sticks to football, it's the best football show on television. But the problem is, much like two or three days ago, Mike Florio, Chris Sims spent the first 39 minutes of the show making a nonstop political statement on gun rights. That's what I'm talking about. Mike Florio also has a blind spot for the coronavirus. I'm not sure he's left his house yet. I shit you not. Okay. And he's got a massive blind spot for Colin Kaepernick. So, when this kind of stuff happens, and Mike Florio gets caught, I'm going to call him out for it. I am. Because I've sat back and I've talked about or I've listened to Mike Florio talk about how badly and watch him write a hundred articles about how badly and how wrongly Colin Kaepernick has been done because he's been blackballed by the NFL after taking a $20 million settlement, by the way. And once the George Floyd incident happened, Mike Florio turned this up on volume 200, okay? On a scale of 1 to 10, volume 200, bam. Oh, my God, Kaepernick needs to be on a team. He's better than I don't know how many other quarterbacks in the league. Well, he wrote another article because right now Mike Florio is, um, well, he's wetting his proverbial woke panties right now because Colin Kaepernick got to work out with the Las Vegas Raiders. I, I, I'm just going to come out and say it. Nick Mullins is on that roster. He is better than Colin Kaepernick right now. Okay. Is, was Nick Mullins better four or five years ago? No. But now, because Kaepernick's been out of the league five years, of course he's better. Of course he's better. So is Jared Stenham. All right? That's a thing. Kaepernick got benched. Well, Florio's been on this nonstop crusade, and yesterday he tweeted out something in regards to one of his articles, and it was it was sort of uh, uh, unbelievable. He said that Colin Kaepernick was a better quarterback than Davis Mills and Tua Tonga Vailoa. Well, I hate to bring it up to you, but Davis Mills was the best rookie quarterback the last five games of last season. Yes, even better than my Mac Jones that I'm a huge fan of. And Tua, for all of his struggles, I mean, come on. You're comparing a guy that is a starting level NFL quarterback for the Miami Dolphins to a guy that's been out of the league, what, four or five years now? Of course Kaepernick is not better. It's an idiotic take. Well, Florio has been proven to be a lying-ass hypocrite. Virtue signaler. He has been caught in a flat-ass lie. He didn't like Colin Kaepernick when Colin Kaepernick was playing. He thought Colin Kaepernick was straight trash, homie. And he's been caught on it. He's been called out on it. The receipts have been brought out on it. This is OutKick, Bobby Burrack. History proves Mike Florio is a fake Kaepernick supporter. This all came about because of George Floyd and the virtue signaling campaign that had to take place afterwards to prove his wokeness. Here we go. There was a time when Mike Florio was not the most prominent supporter and defender of Colin Kaepernick. Florio didn't always have a Kaepernick fathead nailed to the wall inside the PFT headquarters. At one point, Florio was Kaepernick's biggest critic. Wednesday, Florio responded in glee to the news that the Raiders would try out Kaepernick. Here's the tweet. Colin Kaepernick, with time to knock the rust off and prepare, would be better than any option the Seahawks, 
the Panthers and the Texans currently have. He'd be better than any QB. Sorry, Tuanon. He hates Tua Tonga Vailoa that the Dolphins currently have. He'd possibly win the job in Atlanta, too. In what world do you think he's beating out Marcus Mariota for a job? I mean, really? I mean, you do football for a living, for crying out loud. Kaepernick must have dazzled Florio during his stint in the NFL for him to believe that. After not playing a down since 2016, he could come in and outperform starting QBs like Davis Mills and Tua Tonga-Vailoa. You know the reason he's not better than Davis Mills? The Texans know they have found a quality starting quarterback. That's the big secret in the league right now. Except Kaepernick didn't impress Florio as a quarterback. Oh, he didn't. A guy called Ben Jammin on Twitter reminds us that Kaepernick's poor play has long disgusted Mike Florio. Florio on Cap's ability pre Activism. Here we go. Let's just go over to this Twitter right here. We'll go through the tweets. This is 11-27-2014 when Kaepernick said he'd throw at Sherman. I didn't think he literally meant it literally. He's talking about throwing interceptions to Richard Sherman. If Kaepernick were truly great with a capital G... His team would have more tonight than zero with a capital quote Z. He's dogging out Kaepernick everywhere. Here we go again. Anyone who is surprised by the benching of Colin Kaepernick hasn't been paying close enough attention to the 49ers. 11-2-2015, a year later. He's still hating on Colin Kaepernick's skills as a quarterback. Colin Kaepernick doing his best Brian Mormon impersonation. So let me understand this. You have been out there shilling for Colin Kaepernick ever since the George Floyd incident, and you couldn't stand his play as a quarterback? Before all the activism started, before the George Floyd incident, you, Mike Florio, you thought Colin Kaepernick was a trash quarterback and you have been lobbying for him to get a job in the league after being out four years and you have the nerve to come out here and say he's better than all these quarterbacks? Wow. I mean, there's one thing to just come out and out and out lie. Okay, you didn't say he's better than Nathan Peterman or somebody like that. You named starting NFL quarterbacks. And you legitly believe Kaepernick is better than them, except you don't. And it's kind of funny because every time he starts going on these Kaepernick rants on his show, Chris Sims, who puts out his top 40 list every year, just sort of sets there. He never really co-signs his shit because I think he just was like, all right, this is Florio's thing. Fuck it. You know, we're just going to listen to him talk. I mean, he's not it. Look, we're at we're number 22 on Chris Sims' list. Colin Kaepernick has not been four, four, top 40 through 22. Good chance Colin Kaepernick is not a top 22 quarterback in the NFL. So Chris Sims don't even think he's a top 40 quarterback. In the quarterbacks that are available in the echelon of quarterbacks. Keep in mind, Case Keenum didn't make the list. Case Keenum is better than Colin Kaepernick today. That's a thing. Hell, is he better than Trey Lance? God, I, God, I hope Trey Lance is better than Colin Kaepernick. But you get the point. I'm, I just took a shot at my Niners, but you get it. You get what I mean. Tell me what you think, black and white sports fans. Mike Florio... Just an out-and-out out liar on this Kaepernick thing. Blowing all kinds of smoke up your ass. Wow. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.